Pro Chancellor, member of the, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, honoured guests, and of course, our graduates. I'm very proud to be here with you today to celebrate your academic and personal achievements and to share with you your graduation at De Montfort University. Now, I can just about remember my own graduation back in the dim and distant past, and before anyone says, that's not actually a picture of me up there on the screen. <laughs> White tie, Latin recitals, and I seem to remember lots of bowing and kneeling. Um, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know there's no bowing and kneeling involved in the ceremony today. But like many of you waiting to graduate today, I was busy thinking about many things, some mundane and some more profound. Who to look at, or perhaps who not to look at, as you walk across the stage. How to, how to avoid that dreaded sweaty palm handshake. And whether my friend's shiny new pair of stilettos would let her down just at the moment that she collects her degree certificate. Today is, a ceremony, uh, today is a day of ceremony and passion, but it is also one of celebration and being proud of your achievements. And you should al allow yourself a moment to reflect on just how far you've come during your time at DMU. I know some of you will also be thinking about what's next. Of course, some of you will already know what you will be doing. There might be a new job starting next week, or you might be looking forward to further study, taking a break, or perhaps overseas travel. It's a world that's ever-changing, and many things have happened during your time at DMU. As you began your studies, we had a referendum on whether Scotland should become an independent country and break apart the United Kingdom, which has stood for over 300 years. We've seen not one, but two general, ele general elections, with the results shaking the political establishment and providing very little strength or stability. And then there was last summer's EU referendum, which has triggered a near unprecedented level of political engagement across the UK. Donald Trump sits, as, sits in the White House as the leader of the free world. And just when you thought things couldn't get any more crazy, Leicester City went and won the Premiership. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Extreme or unusual political developments can often encourage us to stop and look at the world in which we live to look closely at the people around us and the way in which we engage with one another. Sadly, many developments over the past three years have been for the worse. President Trump's travel ban, growing suspicions of the other and of people from different countries, religions or ethnicities, and sentiments of anti-intellectualism and the assertion by a cabinet minister, no less, that this country has had enough of experts. As university graduates, you have a duty to speak out against intolerance and the vilification of experts. Universities are a public good, institutions of intellect, knowledge creation and knowledge exchange, and you are our representatives. Many of you will know the story of Stephen Lawrence, a teenager who was tragically murdered in a racially motivated attack in London in 1993. Doreen Lawrence, Stephen's mother, is now the chancellor of your university. Faced with extreme adversity, she said, I could have shut myself away, but that is not me. Instead, Doreen has camp campaigned tirelessly for justice, which has led to changes being made to the Race Relations Act and the Criminal Justice Act, and she's helped Britain become a better society. Doreen also launched the Stephen Lawrence Charitable Trust in 1998 to promote equal opportunities for young people. As you enter the world outside of DMU, you will become representatives of a global outlook, of community citizenship and of public good. When some would have us look inwards and be insular, I would implore you to encourage others to be outward looking, to become citizens of the world and to embrace compassion and tolerance. I know that many of you have already begun to do so during your time at DMU. I'd like to share with you two observations from Mahatma Gandhi, someone with whom we've become very familiar through our university's work in India. Gandhi said, you must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops in the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. You must be the change you want to see in the world. We can take inspiration from these quotes. As graduates of DMU, you have made a conscious choice to commit yourselves to learning, to grow as individuals, and to succeed through adversity. 
You're part of a generation whose voice has been reawakened, which we saw at last month's general election when record numbers of students voted. You've volunteered through DMU Square Mile and you've engaged with the world through DMU Global. You are our optimism and our change. And we can be hopeful because you're making your voice heard and taking action. Action against the things you believe are wrong and in support of the things you believe are right. Now, I don't know what the next three years or even the next 12 months will bring, but as graduates of DMU, I know that you can face the world of uncertainty with confidence. Confidence in your university, because excluding specialist institutions, DMU was one of only 33 universities to receive a gold rating in this year's Teaching Excellence Framework, or TEF. The TEF was created by government to provide, for the first time, an assessment of universities focused solely on metrics that matter most to prospective students. Teaching quality, student satisfaction, and graduate employment outcomes. Our gold rating means that DMU was judged as outstanding for the quality of its teaching and the impact this has on students' lives. The TEF ranked DMU first in the country for equipping its students for highly skilled employment or further study. We were also ranked fifth in the country in a TEF league table and were the second best university for disabled and BME students. You can take confidence from an international outlook and being part of our international community of students and alumni. I know that many of you will have joined our unique visit to New York earlier this year where we took 1,000 students to the US as citizens of the world as well as coming to Berlin last month. We're very proud of the success of DMU Global Almost 20% of students now cite DMU Global as one of the reasons for coming to DMU. Um, and I'm very pleased to be able to announce that we're extending large-scale DMU Global trips to cover alumni. So hopefully some of you will be able to come back and join us on our large-scale trips. And next year we're planning to go back to New York. Um, we're planning to go to Hong Kong with the UK government. And we're also planning to go back to Berlin. Finally, you can take confidence also from yourselves and from your own successes and experiences at DMU, whether academic or achieved through volunteering or sport or through enterprise and individual endeavour. For many of you, the choice of what is next will be the first of many you need to make. Where you find success, there may also be disappointment and challenge. Do not let that beat you down. You're allowed to fail and fail again until you succeed. Making a choice is not always about making the right choice. It's about taking a decision and committing to it without being paralysed by fear or regret. Robert Frost captured this notion in his poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had really warned them about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black back. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I ever should come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. I spoke earlier about Gandhi's assertion that you must be the change you want to see in the world. This is true. But the degree you receive today doesn't just give you permission to change things, it commits you to it. As graduates, you won't just be making your way in the world, but making the world and for the better. Amid an increasingly empty clamour for, att for attention, thoughtful, authentic and honest voices need to be heard. Make your voice heard and listen too to the voices of others. Graduation is change. You've taken your hard work and the fun times, your commitment and your sacrifice, your setbacks and your bounce backs, your planning and moments of great inspiration, great teaching and your own talent and turn them all into the su success that we celebrate today as you receive your degree from De Montfort University. This is your time to shine. Take the, take the lead, be the voice, be the change. 
Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Members of the Faculty of Business and Law, by the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, I confer on you the awards to which you are entitled. Please commence the presentation of the graduands and diplomates to the Pro-Chancellor. Honourable Pro-Chancellor, I present to you the graduands and diplomates of the Faculty of Business and Law who, by their achievement, have had conferred on them academic awards of the University. Leicester Business School, the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Economics, Rita Oluweemisi Adarel. Ashraf Ali. Varsha Chawla. Karan Jethwa. Elena Makieva. Winner of the Sage Prize for Best Accounting and Economic Student, James Michael Malloy. Leticia Narambai. Olu Watobi Asobu. Kian Patel. Minesh Shah. Danielle Sharp. Sonal Guvantrai Salanki. Mohammed Tayyub. In accounting and finance, Hamza Abba. Hussein Maksud Ahmed. Serge Akra. Chrysanti Alexandru. Oceania Annabelle Alpha. Atik Ali. Monzur Ali. Harthi Amirthalingam. Katni Amponza. Wilhelmina Amponza. Trifonus Oresti. <laughs> Stephanie Aristu. <laughs> Harpreet Orjla. Satindapal Singh Orjla. <laughs> Tol
Kalalope Ayayemi. Charles Bascott. Dilan Silesh Bilimoria. Danielle Brin. Yanzi Tai. Fabio Cambundu. Tiangi Tao. Jihan Tao. Kalim Karatella. Baini Chang. Maria Haralambus. Winner of the Gemma Newman Award, Christiana Haji Nicolaou. Mamun Rashid Chowdhury. Marufa Chowdhury. Nicholas Christou. Chris Cooper. Rob Marigale Cortez. Samuel Peter George Dids. Polydoros Dimitriades. Zairu Deng. Jovan Singh Dule. Kirby Rebecca Edwards. Jojos Elpidoru. Wai Jen Fong. Robert David Edward Farmer. Agni Fella. Zoe May Files. Samuel James Fitzgerald. Germant Flora. Siddhartha Sonny George. Panos Georgiou. Yeah. 
Simran Gag. Simran Guman. Amritpal Singh Gill. Mariani Gler. Roxana Gromowska. Bobby Rajnaish Gayawali. Shu Han. Ruining Ha. Shauna Rhea Hector Lindo. Wanjai Hu. Arisa Hussein. Kez Hussein. Afsal Ikaria. Scott Innert. Farida Islam. Tajbiul Islam. Mohammed Adan Ismail. Miski Isi. Rajan Jagdish. Gurav Janda. Simran Joanda. Baviek Jaram. Amanvir Jahal. Himant Joyce. Regina Bintu Kabia. Dylan Kanji. Roshni Kanzaria. Kamal Karamez. Zachariah Kesu. Faisal Khalil. Awais Khan. Kashif Khan.
Miriam Parveen Khan. Ravel Khan. Uma Sada Khan. Maria Cartoon. Ria Katadia. Xinyu Kuang. Jessen Prakash Ladd. Aidan Lambert Lewis. Chun Lok Leung. Tyler Lewis. <laughs> Jiao Wei Li. <laughs> Tala Logat. Ying Ma. <laughs> Olga Machado. <laughs> Ikra Majid. Harmesh Mali. Kineski Manning. Victoria Martland. Gladys Masamba. <laughs> Rafaelia Matsentidi. <laughs> Medi Mednini. Yusuf Mehta. <laughs> Dylan Sunil Madasia. <laughs> Devdut Madwadia. <laughs> Sophie Morgan. Evdokia Mausko. Bhakti Nakaja. Emily Megan Noble. Perry Nayako. Mohammed Amaji. <laughs> Humza Osman. <laughs> A 
Abdullah Panchbeya. Pritam Palmer. Amita Channi Patel. Hina Patel. Irfan Patel. Mohammed Hussein Patel. Mohammed Sabir Patel. Sabina Patel. Subhashi Chaganlal Patel. Pahili Pamala. Dapindajit Puni. Anisha Popat. Manveer Power. Elena Salidi. Mohsin Hussein Kazi. Joint winner of the Hales Leicester Prize for exceptional performance on the Advanced Financial Reporting module, Karishma Radia. Vishal Raniga. Reese Rollins. Faraz Shadid. Jessica Sangani. Nicholas Sarkas. Rion Saunders Atkinson. Zariab Shabir. Tabinda Batul Shah. Danny Shi. Jagjit Sidhu. Maninda Singh. Luke William Smith. Dishant Sahal. Anand Salanki. Priya Soma. Olivia Southwell. Nithashan Srikanthan. Rishi, 
Rex Edgar Dandy Sunting. Kyriakos Themistokliaus. Valeria Tinney. Shahab Udin. Priya Vadgama. Sunil Vadgama. Jonathan Edward Venpin. Zain Ali Walji. Han Wang. Lumen Wang. Jordan Lee Warman. Kiriaki Xenophontos. K.U. Chai. Miao Yo Zhu. Nan Zhang. Zin Zhang. Zinjun Zhao. Jin Yu Zhou. Zing Chen Zhou. In accounting studies, Divesh Padek. The degree of Master of Arts in Accounting and Finance, Jamshid Bajafa. <laughs> Olivia Campbell. <laughs> Napreet Kaur Chima. Samuel Dasiolu. Sharice Gray. Ziying Ha. Nicole Naomi Tamara Josephs. Kiranjot Kaur. Christopher Kibble. Himesh Patel. Rakita Patel.
Kira Rush. The degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business and Management, Chinaza Anuga. Troy Gale. The degree of Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Finance, Hussein Ahmed. Imran Ahmed. This concludes the presentation of the graduates and diplomates from the Faculty of Business and Law.